And introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Tirasin Sirak Ratsakun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting from the Red Corner, 25 years of age. He stands at 180 centimeters tall and weighing more than 28.8 pounds. He already got 50 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. He is a former True for You champion. Representing Song Club Lovins Thailand, the Cherry Fall Kompata Fighter Muay Thai. And his opponent fighting on the Blue Corner, 34 years of age. He stands at 180 centimeters tall and weighing 129.9 pounds. He already got a 52 win, 30 losses, and one draw. Representing Nong Thai Province, Thailand, the Tarek for Somrat Thai Muay Thai Jack Bob special thing when the Rajnam Moon Stadium belt is on the line and we've been waiting over two years for this title to be fought for and they've chosen RWS of course they have two of the best in the division the kicks there to start things off by Compatite going low there with his kicks to Somrak Roy Attack. Very busy here in round number one, throwing left and right kicks. Yeah, Samrat Noy looking very tall. Absolutely. Usually both of these fighters like to take their time. But of course, fighting in RWS, you don't want to be waiting too long. You don't want to be losing the two first rounds. Samrat Noy pushing forward. Nice little kick there by Compatak for outside guy. Going upstairs with that left high kick. <laughs> left kick in with lie by yeah, Somrak Noy. Oh, good combination, but great defense coming from Compatak. Oh, and the low kick once yeah. again. It's been a few times already. Compatak so fast. That kick to the body there by Comp Attack. You see someone like nice, trying to expose it, trying to get to where he can start hitting Comp Attack. He's finding it so difficult right now. Mm. And Comp Attack a little bit faster. Good defense once again. Of course, at this level, just throwing your kick usually doesn't work. Oh, and here we go. This is what he's been missing a few times already. Look at that. Great exchanges. Block, kick back. It's a battle of the kicks here in round number one. And I feel right now that Combi Tag is just getting the better of the two. You can already see the outside left by, just as I say, that beautiful left kick to the body there by Somrak Noy. But yeah, the left by there of Somrak Noy already marked up. Oh! Good aggression show, being shown there by Somrak Noy. Mm, very close round. Yeah, Combat type. Started very well. Yeah, absolutely. You can just see someone now starting to edge his way into this fight. Will it be enough to score the round though in the eyes of the judges? It's going to be a close one as it stands. <laughs> Great technique there. Come attack. Your Muay Thai technique. A classic battle of timing, rhythm, and kicks. Close round, both with sensational techniques with those legs throughout the round. Who are the judges going to score it for? Like I said, I think Compatite started. All right, here we go, round two. 
The last Rajada Moon Stadium Super Featherweight Champion, I believe, was Petsakumbit Boy Banar back in 2022. Back it there. Oh, in reply by Kong. Oh, where did that come from? So fast by Kompatak. Incredible left high kick there. Oof. Oh, and again. Wow. Some Two times got to be in a row. Here. Yeah, absolutely. So fast, and look at that. Oh, and again. Oh, tell you what, Kompatak looking incredible in the opening stages here, round number two. You can see the marks in the back of Somrak now from those kicks. Just when you thought that Somrak now was here. Oh, right hand there, right hook by Somrak Noy. Sneaking through. The faster of the two, but Somrak Noy, you know he's only going to become stronger and stronger throughout this fight. Because he likes to use his strength to wear down his opponents. Before he gets there, he needs to go through those kicks. Super high level Muay Thai, you're witnessing right now once again here on RWS. Two there by Combatite, oh, that kick to the body. Let's not forget, he's already connected with two head kicks. Again, going, looking to go upstairs, blocked there by a Son Ooh! Oh, and again with that left kick, so fast! Oh, he is indeed. <laughs> Don't forget, Samrak Noy is on a four-fight winning streak. Last time he lost, unfortunately for him, was against Comp Attack. Oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh. Well, here's the answer to the two initial head kicks. Still a close round, but Comp Attack constantly landing those kicks. So much now, he now seems to have slowed down a little bit, taking his time a little bit more in order to make those kicks. It feels so similar to round number one. Like, Kompatak started very well, head kicks, punches. But now it seems like so much now he's now building that momentum. He is indeed. And it looks like he's doing well now in this round. Kick that ice, some Noy. Look at all the markings. The back there on some rag noy and the legs as well. Oh, so good by Compatite. It seems so difficult to catch Compatite. Left and right. Absolutely amazing footwork. You can see the way he throws that kick. And leaves his leg in between to defend himself. Two seconds remaining in the second round. Ooh. Oh, running inside kick there by Kompatak. What a round of Muay Thai we've just witnessed once again, I believe, by Kompatak. I mean, Somrak Noy again had his moments win that round. But some of the striking we're witnessing from Kompatak is just another level, especially in that round. I mean, the acknowledgement and the recognition that he deserves. In saying that, it's far from over right now. Somrak Noy has three rounds to try and turn this fight on its head because he is two rounds down. All right, let's see what happens here in round number three. Well, it is imperative now. Somrak Noy absolutely has to win this round. It's or going he back will. to what we know he can do, and that's the clinch. Absolutely, perhaps. It's what he should have been doing in the previous round. Here's the left kick, the left high kick again from Kompatak. Kompatak oh, yeah. on the back foot. Good thing, this is what Samrat Noy did. Oh, it needs to do, get in that clinch. Make it a little bit more dirty. Make it difficult for Kompatak to throw those kicks. Oh, oh. Samrat Noy, it's working. Maybe if he can get close right enough. But the edge can through those whipping left kicks of Kompatak, making it difficult. Oh, some right now to close the distance. Here we go once again. I don't know how many kicks Kompatak have thrown <laughs> since the beginning of the fight. Incredible. Dancing in there on those feet. Effortless for him to throw those kicks wherever he wants and wherever he wants. Yeah, the accuracy landing every single time. You see the way he can defend himself after being able to connect with that kick as well. Look at that catch. 
hit back and defend yourself. Back in the cliche action, a little bit better. Coming from someone like Nori now, you need to throw those knees. Or if you can, maybe try and tire Comp Attack out within that clinch. Right? Yeah, That's absolutely. More difficult than, than it looks. Oh, big step in me there by Comp Attack. Could be though, by Sobat Ray. You can see Comp Attack is trying to block Somrak Noy from throwing that his knees, but Somrak Noy is still able to do so. That's a good sign for Somrak Noy. Comp Attack still in control so far. I agree. We've seen it in the two previous rounds, though. The last minute of each round, slowing down a little bit. Perhaps right now is the opportunity for Somrak Noy to do something. Whoa, but as I say that, two big kicks coming from Comp Attack. Now in the clinch. Oh. Still an able land. Yeah, just the the Comp Attack defending at the perfect mm. time. Look at the footwork from Comp Attack. Left kick. Back in the clinch again. Somat Lord just can't get his placement correct at the moment. Really struggling. Oh, left kick there from Comp Attack. How many times have I said that? Oh! Just ducked under a flying knee. I don't think I've seen that before. That was incredible. Definitely a better round. It is. From Sermak Nong, but is it good enough to win the third round? I'm not entirely sure. I don't think so, if I'm being honest. All right, well, he looks the beauty, confident. The beauty here of RWS is we get to see just exactly how the <laughs> judges have scored it. Is Comp Attack about to go three rounds up, or is Somrak Noy remaining? Is there anything that Somrak Noy can do to change this fight? He now needs a knockdown. Now it's going to be interesting. Does Somrak Noy deserve to be a champion or not? Does he have all the tools he needs to turn this fight around? Let's As find out. Said. He needs a knockdown now. We've seen the kicks, we've seen the knees. We haven't seen the hands and the elbows yet. Actually, we did see one elbow in the previous round. Straight away, back into the clinch. Could be there from Somrak Noy. And again. Oh, beautiful hand placement from Comp Attack. Oh, and a left kick as he finds his way out. Oh, here comes Somrak Noy once again, doing exactly what he needs to do. Applying the pressure to Comp Attack. Comp Attack looks in great shape, though. Elbows there. As from, I say that. From Somrak Noy. Somrak Noy. Oh, very difficult Woo. for Comp Attack in this round. Somrak Noy coming back now. Comp Attack not happy with the takedown. But Somrak Noy still needs a knockdown. Remember that even if he wins the two remaining rounds, it will not be enough for him to win. Yeah, Somrak Noy is starting to impose himself and use that bigger size that he possesses over Comp Attack right now. And it's working. Pushing forward, grabbing a hold of him, thrusting knees into his body. Great round so far for Somrak Noy. You can see the corner of Comp Attack and say, throw your kicks. Don't let him get close. Use footwork like that to move out the way. Tempted elbow there by Somrak Noy, but straight into the clinch. Nice maneuver. See that Comp Attack not throwing as much as we saw in the first three rounds. Comp Attack throwing knees of his own that time within the clinch. Somrak Noy once again, if he can, within the clinch, try and get that head down, try and push it down so he can then thrust the, a knee strike into the head of Comp Attack. But Comp Attack also very, very strong as well. He's able to match. Right kick there from Comp Attack. Somrak 
Noy. I'm just looking at the right arm of Kompatak. Just wondering if there's an issue. I'm not sure if it's injured or not, but something doesn't seem to be right about him. Oh, big elbow there from Sobrak Noy. And down, Kompatak goes for the second time in the round. Big round for Sobrak Noy, has he been able to get one round back with one round left? Kompatak looking a little bit tired right now. Sobrak Noy looking a little bit more buoyed with his performance. One round remaining. He does still need a knockdown in this round. If it is a draw, I believe it'll be, the title will still be vacant. But I'm sure they'll go at it again. But I'm sure Somrak Noy is going to look for that knockdown. And he wants, of course you want to win the round. If it's 3-2, then you've got a case. If indeed you're not going to be the champion, but you deserve another shot at the title. All right, let's see what happens here in the fifth and final round. Don't go anywhere, folks, because after the champion is crowned, Antoine will also be in the ring to get the first interview with the new champion. If indeed there is a new champion, Samrat Noy there, pushing forward, looking for a left knee to the body. Right high kick from Kompitak. Stepping left knee and left elbow by Samrat Noy. Really making it difficult for Kompitak. As it should be, if you're going to be crowned Rajamnur Stadium champion, it should never be easy, right? Big knees there from Somrak Noy. Again, trying to dip down the head of Kompatak. Right hand from Somrak Noy. And again, another big right hand. Left knee there. Kompatak just has over two minutes to try and make sure he doesn't take enough damage to go down. Left elbow there from Samrak, Samrak Noy. Blood flowing now from the right eye of Kompatak. Problems here for Kompatak. Talk about us. A story of two halves. It was all combat attack in the first three rounds, and then all of a sudden, Somrak Noy going with that clinch has made it so difficult for combat attack. So much so now that there's blood flowing from that right eyebrow of combat attack. He is 90 seconds away right now from getting that belt wrapped around his waist. But my goodness, is Somrak Noy making it difficult for him? Big stepping right knee there from Somrak Noy. Takes a big look up at the clock and realizes there's 70 seconds left to try and knock down Kompatak. Right kick there, left uppercut attempted by Somrak Noy. Inside kick from Kompatak. Left up from Somrak Noy. Remember the man riding a four fight winning streak, eight and two in his last 10 fights. He need everything in his power to try and knock down Kompatak. Here comes Somrak Noy once again. Left kick. Two in fact by Kompatak. Three. Swinging left up. Misses there. Final 20 seconds left of this title fight. Another kick to the midsection there by Kompatak. It doesn't look like Somrak Noy is going to be able to find that one big shot. And there it is. It's all over. And Kompatak will be crowned the Rajnamun Stadium Champion here on RWS. Props to Somrak Noy. He gave everything in that round. In round four, round five. Maybe he should have gone to the clinch earlier on in the fight. But it is what it is, and Kompatak, who was gliding through the first three rounds, found it so difficult in rounds four and five, but it doesn't matter. He will be the one.
He gets that Rajnamna Stadium belt wrapped around his waist. Let's have a look at the highlights from the fight. There was that left high kick in rounds number two. Samrak Noy even threw one back. Kompasak looking in full control throughout rounds one, two and three. But in rounds four, Samrak Noy looking strong, looking big. Doing a lot of damage within the clinch to Kompasak. It was even cut by the end of the fight. An amazing fight to end an amazing night of fights here on RWS. We'll make this one official. We'll have the belt wrapped around Kompatak and then Antoine Pinto is ready in the ring to have an interview with the champion. And then we'll also talk about what's coming up here on RWS. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to introduce the managing director of Russia the Stadium, Mr. Chit Chiao Sakun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges score this bout 49 to 46. Declare your winner by way of unanimous decision!